Greetings, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video will revolve around gameplay in my modified Simpsons cab. For those of you unaware, this cab has been soft modded with the Simpsons controller fix, DIG has been installed as a front end, and I've added RetroArch and a few ROM sets to experiment with. This video is simply intended to be a supplement to the short review I did on my last video, and this video will show gameplay. I do wish to point out that I've not run into any issues with MAME or Final Burn Alpha with respect to controlling games. I have had some issues with consoles, but with time, I believe I'll have those resolved. I'd also like to point out that if you have multiple copies of the same game, DIG does give you the option of what ROM you can load. So if you like a game from a specific region, you have the option of only loading that ROM. Now let's do a little gameplay, and let's start with the classic arcade game 1941. Next, let's check out the controls on Alien Storm. For fun let's put player 1 in the player 2 spot. Player 2 can go into the player 4 spot, and for good measure, let's put player 3 in the player 1 spot. I hope you can follow that. This next game is Bucky O'Hare, a three-button game, and I wanted to see if it would load. In the future, I'd like to see if I can figure out a way to map the third button. Time will tell if I get it working. and it looks as if all four player characters are working. Not that this game needs an introduction as it's an arcade classic. In fact, many of us look for it when we are at the arcade. and it looks as if player 2 finally came out to play. I also wanted to give some consoles a try, so I loaded as many two-button consoles as I was able to. Everything loaded well, but it seems I'm unable to map my select key to my live button. I'm not sure as to why yet, and I'm afraid I'll have to do some investigating to see what I've done wrong. Battle Toads Double Dragon is a great game, but I can't play it as I have no select button. I'm going to need to figure out what I did wrong so I can make this work. I'm not having any luck at this, am I?
I was able to get Aladdin for the Game Boy working, and it was a ton of fun to play. I'm not that great at the game, but I did have to give it a go, as I've never played it. Another game that needs no introduction, Aliens. The movie scared the crap out of me as a child, and I found the game just as exciting. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs is a total classic, and I'm happy to report that all three players work very well. This game alone makes for hours of fun. Captain Commando is one of the many games my son and I have played through together, and I believe the first arcade game we finished jointly. Loads of fun to play. I'm told the dip switches control the total number of players, and I believe that Final Burn Alpha gives me a way to make those changes. However, I've not had the time to Google how to do so. I would like to look into it, as four players seem more fun than two, and we Simpson cab owners do have the player availability. Dragon Buster, a classic from 1984, it's a real fun game. If you've not given it a try, you should fire up MAME and give it a spin. You'll thank me later.
Mercs, is another classic, this game was released in 1990, and I believe I fed that particular arcade game all of my quarters. We all should know this classic game, and to be honest, it put a smile on my face when I saw it load correctly. Speaking of classics, I give you Miss Pac-Man. I will warn you that you can totally feel the differences in the 8-way joystick that The Simpsons comes with, versus the 4-way stick that you find with Miss Pac-Man. All in all, it's still nice to have the game. Just be mindful of the 8-way stick versus the 4-way. It really affects gameplay. Fix 8 is a vertical game, and I've totally never heard of it. I did do a Google search, and it does seem to be popular. Let me know in the comments if you've ever played, and what you think of the game. WWF WrestleFest, fun game, and I believe I recall someone asking if it's possible to add this game. Well, with this mod, it is possible. You've just got to give it a try. This last one is totally pushing it, but when I saw the title I had to try. This is for the Sega Mega Drive, or as it's known here in the United States, the Sega Genesis, and the game is Duke Nukem. Sega is a 3 to 6 button layout. I knew that the Duke would take more buttons than I had, but a man can dream. There is still tons more to learn, and so far, it seems as if we have a lot that we're able to do. I can't wait to see what we figure out next. I do want to thank you for checking out the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, then please help me fight the YouTube algorithm by liking this video, leaving a comment, sharing this video with a friend, and if you've not yet done so, please consider subscribing. Thank you.